Hello, AP Gov. So tonight I'm going to have you take a couple political surveys and we're going to find out where you are on the political spectrum. Today in class, we went over what the political spectrum looks like and focused on liberals and conservatives. Um, here's what you're going to do for each one of these questions you're going to put a check mark into this category or in this column if you agree with the statement. Um, so put a check mark here in this column if you agree with the statement. Um, and I'm going to give you about, uh, you know, I'm just going to, you're going to press pause and go through and, and take this. Uh, I believe there are 25 questions here or 25 statements. Put a check mark next to them um, and then in just a second i'm going to have you pause it and take it and then when you come back from the pause in this category i'm going to tell you what your answers equal as far as liberal or conservative um, if you have a question with one of these statements like you're not sure what it's asking uh, you can email me uh, or ask your parents and they might be able to they probably will be able to help you um, but definitely email me and I will uh, try to answer as quickly as possible. So at this time, go ahead and press pause and go ahead and take the survey. Uh, and once again, you are putting a check mark or X in this first column if you agree with the statement. All right, so go ahead and press pause and go ahead and take it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, here's what they are. Um, if you agreed with this statement, number one, you would put a C. If you did not agree with it, you would put an L. Number two, Americans need to be protected from unnecessary police searches and seizures uh, and then other invasions of privacy. If you agreed, it's an L. If you disagreed, it's a C. High taxes discourage people from working hard. If you check this, then it's a C. If you did not check it, it's an L. Only people who cannot work should be eligible for welfare programs. If you agreed, that's a C. If you did not, it's an L. National security is more important than an individual person's right to privacy. If you agreed, that's a C. If you disagreed, that's an L. The government should create and pay for programs that help the poor. If you agreed, that's an L. If you did not agree, that's a C. The wealthy should be taxed at a higher percentage than lower and middle class. If you agree, that's an L. If you disagree, that's a C. The best way to help the poor is to help businesses earn a profit and create new jobs. If you agree, that's a C. If you disagree, that's an L. Government programs on behalf of the disadvantaged discourage people from helping themselves. If you agree, that's a C. If you disagree, that's an L. The government should not restrict abortion and other reproductive decisions. If you agree, that's an L. If you disagree, that's a C. The government has a special responsibility to protect minority groups from discrimination. If you agree, that's an L. If you disagree, that's a C. Number 12, crime can be reduced by enforcing stricter penalties and longer jail sentences. If you agree, that's a C. If you disagree, that's an L. 13, the government should do more to punish businesses that pollute the environment. If you agree, that's an L. If you disagree, that's a C. Uh, number 14, the government should protect Americans from morally offensive films and publications. Uh, let's see. The answer to that one, if you agree, is a C. If you disagree, that is an L. 15, the arts should be protected from government censorship. Adults must be free to think and speak as they wish. Uh, if you agree, that's an L. If you disagree, that's a C. With government regulation, big business would take advantage of ordinary Americans. If you agree, that's an L. If you disagree, that's a C. Crime, unemployment, poverty, or, and other problems will be reduced if America returns to traditional values of hard work and belief in God. If you agree, that's a C. If you disagree, that's an L. Let me scroll down here. We're now at 18. The government spends too much on social services and other programs that could be done by 
businesses, religious organizations, and other nonprofits. If you agree, that's a C. If you disagree, that's an L. Homosexuals should receive the same rights and protections as other minority groups. If you agree, that's an L. If you disagree, that's a C. Uh, number 20, policies that create jobs are more important than policies that protect the environment. If you agree, that's a C. If you disagree, that's an L. The federal government should not get involved in setting academic standards for public school. Uh, if you agree, that's a C. If you disagree, that's an L. Americans have the right to an affordable health care. If you agree, that's an L. If you disagree, that's a C. The death penalty is cruel and unusual punishment. If you agree, that is an L. If you disagree, that is a C. One way to reduce crime is to limit the sale and possession of firearms. If you agree, that's an L. If you disagree, that's a C. Uh, the government should allow uh, school-sponsored prayer in public schools. If you agree, that's a C. And if you disagree, that's an L. So now what I need you to do is count up your L's and count up your C's and jot down what your total is. Obviously, that your number should equal 25. Uh, I should have told you that there is no middle ground. You either have to put L or C. Um, if you're a weak L or weak C, that's okay. Um, but uh, you need to put L or C and then count up your L's and C's. And then uh, I'm going to have you post that here in just a second. Okay, so now... Uh, you see here that we're at a spreadsheet called the APGov Political Survey Results. What you're going to do is type in your last name, then your first name, then you're going to give me what hour I have you, either third or fourth hour. And then for the test that we just took, I want you to write down how many L's you had and how many C's that you had. Um, and then I, will, uh, then I will code that for you. And in tomorrow's class, I will go over what your what those test results mean uh, and give you a classification. Okay, so here is test number two, and there are two pages to this test. That's why it says 2.1. This one's a little weird, so just you're gonna have to follow along, and but I think you'll be able to get it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna read the statement. Uh, it's just like the statements that we did. You're either gonna put strongly agree or agree. Now here you have a neutral or disagree or strongly disagree. So you're gonna do your score and then you're gonna write down how many points there are. So it's either two points, one point, zero points, negative one or negative two. And you're gonna write that point right next to it. So if I thought number one was strongly agree, I would write then two right here. Then my intensity, I need to write down how intense I care about that issue. So I'm either writing a three if I care deeply, two if I care but not really strongly, and one it's not really that important. And so I write that intensity down. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the in your response points to your intensity and because this is question number one I'm going to write my score in the odd number because this is an odd question. I'm going to do the same thing down here for number two. I'm going to answer it. I'm going to write the points. I'm going to write my intensity. I'm going to multiply the two numbers together. But at this time, I'm going to write it in the even number column. And I'm going to keep going down and doing that. So number three is in odd. Then number four score is in even. Number five is in odd. Number six is in even. And then I'm going to uh, do the same thing on test number two. So go ahead and do that for this page. And then I'll have the next page loaded up and, again, walk you through that. All right, so here's uh, the second page, 2.2. .2. Uh, again, we're starting with number seven. You'll take your score and your points and then your intensity. Multiply those two scores together, and that'll go odd. Then for number eight, it'll go in even, number nine, odd, number 10, even, number 11, odd, number 12, even. Now what I need you to do once you're done, and you can go ahead and press pause if you're not done, 
Now what I need you to do is go through and add up all of your odd scores and put that total number right here. And then I need you to uh, jot down your even scores and put that right here. Now what I need you to do is uh, you are going to take your even number score and then you are going to have uh, you're going to have e minus odd. So if my even score was 10 and my odd score was 5, it would be 10 minus 5, which would be a 5. Now remember, if you're minusing a negative number, so if it was 10 minus a negative 10, then it's actually 10 plus 10, and so your number is 20. And then you're going to write down your score right here. The lowest number that you should be able to score is a negative 72, and the highest is a 72. So you can't be higher than a 72, and you cannot be lower than a negative 72. Okay? And so what I need you to do is jot that number down here, and then I'll show you where on the spreadsheet I need you to go. All right, so now we're on the spreadsheet, and you're going to jot down your number for test number two right here. Again, that number could be as low as negative 72 or as high as 72. It cannot be higher or lower than that number. So jot that down right there. Okay, so now the last test that we're going to do is this conservative versus liberal chart. And I'm going to actually shrink it down a little bit for us. So on the left-hand side, you see that there are going to be a number of issues uh, that this chart is going to go over. And what you've got to do, then it, what it does is it then gives you the conservative stance and the liberal stance. So what you're going to do is print this out or just do it, on, uh, do it on your computer. And what I want you to do is for every issue, I want you to highlight uh, what, uh, which one you like, which uh, one you feel uh, best explains your view. So if you have the conservative view for abortion, but you have the liberal view for uh, the affirmative action. So you're just going to go through and do all of that. Um, and uh, then what you will do at the end of this, once you've highlighted for all of your different issues, is you're going to count uh, how many conservative issues uh, you agreed with and how many liberal stances you agreed with. And then I'll show you where to put that decision. So again, you're highlighting which of the stances you agree with. And then at the very end, you're going to count up how many conservatives you have and how many liberals you have. All right. Well, you guessed it. On this uh, final uh, section now, you're going to jot down how many conservative statements you agree with and how many liberal statements you agreed with. Um, and then... Tonight, I'm going to then decipher your statistics and then uh, give you a uh, final reading as to what you are. Um, and I'm hopefully, I'm pretty sure that by looking at your results, we'll get you pinpointed one way or the other. Um, but uh, this is a fun little thing. And then tomorrow in class, I will crown a king or queen liberal and a king or queen conservative. So uh, we, shall, uh, we shall see what you are. Uh, and hold on to those tests, because we're going to use them later on uh, in class. So you're going to print those off and then keep them. Have a great day.